Right, hello everyone. This video is for those who own the 70s style pop-top campus called the Expanders. This one's a 1979 model and I just want to give you an idea of how I've done one of the beds and then I'll do another video separately to show you how I've done the other bed. So, moving inside, this is as you move inside, and I'm just wiping my feet, there's a bed here on the left and this is the one we're going to discuss right now. I'm going to lift up this end of the mattress because what I want to point out is that as it stands there isn't really a lot of, the blue area that you see is that there's a carpeted area and that's the, the bed that's supplied with the van if you like and it's a, just under 600 millimeters wide so it's not a lot of space to actually sleep without, you know, you really can't move around much. So what I've done is I've, tend, uh, I've gone and expanded it by putting this extra board on. So I'm just going to cover that a little bit now. The board itself Oh, I suppose I should point out too actually that this board, and if I stand back, I'm just going to put this mattress down and cover that in. The board itself is on a bit of an angle along here, so it, it's wider at the one end near the bench than it is by the door. Because it's no good having the board coming out and being right up against the door here because it, it restricts the space coming in. So I've cut it on a bit of an angle and it runs down through here and then up against, it's really pretty much hard up against this bench. Gives you some space here for alarm clocks, wallets, keys and whatever else you might want to put on that side of it. So at the bottom end we're extending the bed from one from just under 600 millimeters through to just over a meter, so I've got an extra 400 millimeters on the bottom end, if you like. We'll call it the bottom end because the pillow you can have your pillow at either end, but at the moment I've got the pillow up there. So, and at the top end, from that corner down to where we're talking here, it's 1.25 meters or 125 centimeters at the other end. So you've got one meter at the bottom end, and at the top end, 125. Now in order to put this bench in, this extra piece, this needs to be 20 mils thick because, and I'm not sure if you can see this, but I've put this underneath, when you fold the bed out, when you fold this extension here out, this piece that goes out from the caravan, you've actually got a little bit of a ledge sitting on top of this bar, and it's about two to two and a half centimeters. So from all the way along the end, that is being supported by about two and a half centimetres. So you've got plenty of support for one side of the board. Coming down to the other side, I'll just show you the supports that I've used. So I've got a, a, a piece of wood here that's quite thick, probably about 100 mils and maybe a little bit more, width wide, and I've cut out, and I can hopefully you can see that, cut out a little bit on the left, a little bit on the right. So it's a it's a piece in the middle that actually slots into the board, a cutout on the top board. And again, you can see that from the top. That's just showing you from the top. I'll get these curtains open and show you a bit of light in there, it might help. So that's supporting that end. So here we're supported, we're su giving some support along this edge and along this edge here. So there's plenty of support there. That's not going anywhere. Now, for those of you who have the camper, you'll realize that this bench, bed or seat, had a mattress that was the full length. The wife being, well, of course she wanted me to put these um, extensions and so I've done that, but of course we have here uh, a pole here which is ex giving a bit of uh, additional support, you might say, to this board for the extension. So what we did, or what she did anyway, was cut this in half. So we've got one here, and then we've cut the, the squab in half, and then the other half just fits in on this area here. And as you can see, she's done a really good job putting some hardy material on either end of the mattresses, on either the squabs on either side, to keep them uh, in check. Now, you might see here, there's a bit of a cut out here. I'm just going to get you over, well, maybe if you go from the other side, you might see a bit more clearer. We've got a cutout here as well. This is like an L-shaped cutout on the supporting beam, which comes down and if I lift this squab up, you can see I've placed a board around here and I've screwed it in here. 
that simply lifts out so you've got a bit of a cutout in here and that simply the beam or the supporting pole simply stays in there and this is to stop it moving or being kicked out so with the weight of the mattress on it that is solid as that is not moving the only real way to get that out is to physically lift it upwards which is good if you've got anyone sitting here or kids or whatever the case might be moving over to the other support on the other side it might be a little bit difficult to see this but there is actually a board which was screwed and I didn't do this but this was already on the side there's a board here that's screwed to the bench near the near the cooker this board was is I don't know maybe it used to support a table or something back in the uh, back in the day but of course this board here simply sits on the top of that and again it gives you support at the top end of the bed simple as that folks hope that helps you out with bed number one